Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of our latest acquisitions, a 1954 Ford Crestline convertible. Talk about something to look forward to in Minnesota weather. Maybe you can enjoy it right now. We'll tell you more in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about a 1954 Ford Crestline convertible, Sunliner if you will. I'll tell you what, talk about a beautiful color, vermilion red. It is a standout color, I'll tell you what, it really, really glows. And with the chrome bumpers and the chrome that's all been redone in the front, really, really pretty stuff. Yep. 54 Ford, now they have no longer have the flathead motors, now we have overhead valve motors. Now this particular one has a 292 in it, a little bit of an upgrade considering of what it would have been in 1954, but that is actually a nice addition because two things, it's a little bit more cubic inch and it is also a 12 volt system. So it starts very nice, runs strong, everything else about it is just really good. Hooked up behind a ford automatic, uh, automatic transmission, which is another really nice thing for us people that know how to drive automatics, but some of us don't know how to drive the three and the trees. So anyone can jump in this car, put it in drive, and away you go. No, like I said, beautiful, beautiful color. Now you can click on the link on this car in the, in the description, and it'll take you right to this car, all its information, everything about it, and or you can go to our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars. You can also watch the entire video from start to finish because we will do a cold start, a walk around gives you more pictures and stuff to look at as well. Uh, yes, this is one of those cars that, uh, you know, just a really, really nice rendition. I, I mean, I don't think you can get a better color combination for a convertible with the red and white interior as well. Nice dash, nice interior. Look at that. It's got an upgraded AM FM radio, but it's still put into the same spot where they came from from the factory. I believe this car also does have power steering. Power steering is just one of those nice extra uh, options that people chose back in the day. Some did, some didn't. But you know, with this day and age, going to the car shows, parking, whatnot, we just really like having power steering. It just really is a nice feature. Also, those would be the correct white wall tires for 1954. That would be correct with, and they got the full Ford hubcaps as well. So I like it with the Ford emblems in the middle or whatever. You know, they always had all their stuff that kind of gave you a clue as to what it was. I mean, you got the V8 emblem right here. It's got the Crestline badge right there on the back quarters. A lot of people sometimes have a hard time identifying 52 and three and four. Well, there's a clue right there. The one that has the three little strobe stripes right by the back, that is for a 54. Just so if you're trying to identify one of these cars, one of those little tidbits of facts. But yeah, take a look at the inside. Just very well done. And of course, it's a convertible with a white top, white boot, and a power top to boot. So if you happen to go out, didn't plan on it, and the rain clouds came in, well, guess what? Mere pull of a switch, and the top comes up, and within a minute or less, you are covered from any of that rain that could be coming. Uh, this particular car also has another really nice extra. It has a Continental kit on it, which was one of those things that people put on. Just added a little bit of class to the back end of the car. This one is a chrome outside ring as well. I don't think most people use that spare tire for anything other than the Continental kit, but it sure it makes a nice look from the back. And this car does have dual exhaust as well. As I said, you can watch the entire video. You'll hear the way this car actually runs. Very, very nice. Now you can find all our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. And you'll find all the information on this car, our current inventory, and actually some of the cars that we've had in the past. So if you're out perusing the internet looking for some entertainment, guess what? You can find all that stuff on those websites as well. Uh, it's just one of these cars that you don't see very many of. I don't know why, what the reasoning is. I think it's a really, really nice looking car. Ford did a really great job on this particular year. And it's a lot of changes from the earlier looks of the Ford. So there, it's just really, really a nice car. Now, if you're like me, 
I'm one of these guys that wants to come down and look in person. Hey, we're more than happy to welcome you to Ellington Motor Cars. Come on down. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you want to put your hands on it or whatever, we're more than happy to let you do that. But yeah, they always let you know Sunliner. It says right there in case you forgot what it was, Sunliner. That's the convertible version for the Ford. So if you're looking to add something to Ford to your collection and realize you don't see very many of these, we've got a beauty right here on our sales floor. Or maybe it's, uh, you know, your very first old car. Well, guess what? Wouldn't this be fun in the summertime? Go cruising with the top down, let your hair blow. Still has the vent windows. That's your air conditioning with the top down, of course. But it's just one of those really, really neat cars. So we appreciate you and thank you very much for watching our video today. And we will see you next time at Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota.